Hi everyone. As we approach the end of the year, I'd like to thank each of you for your hard work and focus on achieving our mission during 2023. I'm standing in the torpedo room on 797, PCU, Iowa. I hadn't sailed on a submarine for 30 years until I came back to electric boat, and I've now had the privilege of sailing Alpha Trials on three Virginia-class boats, Vermont, Oregon, and most recently the Hyman G. Rickover. The innovations and technological superiority these boats give our submarine fleet and our nation are world-class and something every electric boat employee can be proud of. Back on February 4th, as we were moving this submarine out of Building 260 in preparation for launch, the pontoon in Graving Dock 3 experienced a brittle fracture. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and we rolled Iowa back into the building. A large team across multiple departments worked for six months to figure out what happened, why it happened, and how we can prevent other major facility failures from happening again. We learned a lot about the pontoon historically and technically, but most importantly, we learned a lot about ourselves. Our company's 125-year legacy as the innovator and premier submarine builder for the U.S. Navy is hard-earned, but it's not a given. We need to continually pursue the standard of excellence set forth by Admiral Rickover at Naval Reactors 75 years ago. And that means we question assumptions, we ask the tough questions, and establish clear ownership. The pontoon team demonstrated these leadership behaviors and acted as one team aligned to solve an unprecedented challenge. The result was our Navy partners turned around our technical package in record time to recertify the pontoon, and Iowa set a new record as the most complete Virginia-class submarine at float off. We also saw the power of working across functions this year on the Groton waterfront with their CONOPS or Concept of Operations effort. Recognizing the power of synergy, Groton Ops, Test, and Ships Management combined each group's priorities into one aligned plan of action to increase performance and make final assembly and test more disciplined and predictable. And we saw the impacts in the rollout on 797 and progress already on the 799 boat. Delivering one Columbia and two Virginia-class submarines a year is the biggest challenge many of us will face in our careers. By committing every day to working as one team with a common purpose, we'll meet that challenge and solve any problem that comes our way. Back in January, I shared with you my president's intent or desired end state for our company. For this year, I'm now proud to share highlights of what you've achieved in 2023. In 2023, Electric Boat continued progress on Columbia, our nation's newest class of ballistic missile submarines. Lead ship District of Columbia is now 41% complete. All six super modules are under construction and outfitting is underway at Quonset Point. 50% of the lead ship is scheduled to ship to Groton next year. In addition, construction has begun for the second boat, Wisconsin, and advanced construction of SSBN 828, the third boat, has commenced. Early this year, we established multidiscipline project teams to support module construction, including operations, ships management, planning, engineering, and materials. Our planning organization reduced the Columbia problem sheet backlog by over 70% and turnover of the lot-based manufacturing portal gave us the ability to manage cut parts in lots and groups to increase efficiency in production. We are well prepared with the facilities we need to produce one Columbia and two Virginia-class submarines per year. In Groton, we received the certificate of occupancy on schedule for the 200,000 square foot South Yard Assembly Building, which will serve as the final assembly and test facility for the Columbia class. We began operations in the building this spring. This year, we also secured the certificate of occupancy for our new Columbia pre-commissioning unit and command and control system module off-hull assembly and test site. The first Columbia submarine crews are expected to arrive and train from this facility in the spring of 2024. The new Ocean Transport Barge Holland delivered its first Virginia-class shipment, and Atlas, the new floating dry dock for Columbia, is under construction at Bollinger Shipyards in Louisiana. At Quonset Point, we began construction on 9C, the final phase of the Columbia and Virginia Payload Module Assembly Building, and 10B, the third blast encoding facility. 
the Columbia class will serve as the backbone of our nation's strategic deterrent well into the 2080s. Our national defense strategy depends on each one of us owning that responsibility and executing without delay through expert teamwork. This year, our productivity went up 25% from 2022, supported by a 24% increase in earned hours per month and a 34% increase in weekly work order attainment. At the same time, we've improved on our first-time quality metrics across the organization while we are introducing brand new shipbuilders into our production team. This increase in volume and velocity demonstrates the power of teams working across functions towards a single aligned purpose. 2023 set a new record for hiring at Electric Boat with over 5,300 new shipbuilders joining our team. Congratulations to the HR team and others who have helped bring new people into our business. Our HR teams and many others from across Electric Boat took part in more than 650 recruiting events and we're seeing continued success in our high school signing days program with 270 graduates this year. That's a 250% increase from last year. Our trades pipeline programs continue to be a success and a model for U.S. manufacturers. Connecticut and Rhode Island had more than 1,500 graduates this year, and we also graduated 183 new apprentices in 2023. To attract new shipbuilders, we're continuing to run ads on TV, radio, and online. We launched a new website, ebcareers.com, and we were joined in our recruiting efforts by a Navy-led campaign called buildsubmarines.com. It was a multimedia campaign, including sponsorship with NASCAR team RFK Racing. This year, we also secured union contracts for the next five years due to exceptional work by the EB management team and our union leadership. We announced the largest single wage increase in decades for our hourly shipbuilders and retention bonuses across operations at Groton and Quonset Point. We invested significantly in training and leadership development with nearly 7,000 employees completing our leadership development programs this year. We continue to reach out into our regional elementary and middle schools to spread the word that designing, building, and maintaining our nation's submarines is a rewarding and life-altering career. And please keep those employee referrals coming. We count on you for as much as 30% of our new hires. This year, our engineering organization established technical leadership teams for all major areas of our business, Virginia, Columbia, SSNX, and critical infrastructure. These teams are driving the work as designs progress, ships are built and tested, and problems are resolved both on the waterfront and by the fleet. This year's challenges included the repair and recertification of the Graving Dock 3 pontoon and the resolution of significant ship control problems that enabled sea trials and delivery of the Vermont and Rickover. A technical leadership team is also improving technical development initiatives to broaden the acumen of the engineering organization as we prepare for the challenge of building and testing the District of Columbia, partner with the UK and Australia in expanding the reach of our submarine technology, and prepare for SSNX to retain our undersea superiority. On the Virginia Subsea and Seabed Warfare Program, our design and engineering team continues to demonstrate what winning looks like by doing the right work in the right sequence and working with the whole team to deliver fully integrated solutions to high-end technical challenges. Our planning team implemented lessons learned from Columbia to begin SSW planning activities early. The SSW team beat the baseline arrangement schedule for the year while ramping up disclosure output driving equipment deliveries to the land-based test facility, and working to incorporate new government-furnished payloads that will provide this unique ship even more capability for our Navy customer. Engineering's analytical R&D team continued to develop new methods in acoustics, hydrodynamics, and shock to extend our leadership in undersea capabilities. The team also completed testing, proving concepts for advanced hull architectures for SSNX are viable and perform as predicted. Also in 2023, EB stood up the program office and technical leadership teams that will design and deliver SSNX, the next generation attack submarine. In 2023, our supply chain organization achieved the highest volume of material sales in our history, with an increase of greater than 25% over 2022. The organization also accomplished 350,000 hours of work outsourced to our three focus factories, 
onboarded 40 new supply chain professionals in a rigorous training pipeline program, began engagement with the supply chain on long-range contracts to help stabilize demand and enable better performance across the industrial base. In maintenance and modernization, the Los Angeles-class attack submarine USS Hartford has been docked in the Groton shipyard since November 2021 for its engineered overhaul. Over the course of 2023, the team completed the ripout phase and began reinstalling components. Additionally, the team claimed two financial incentives months ahead of contract schedule, and the project remains on track to re-deliver Hartford to the fleet eight months ahead of schedule. Hartford remains an important project for Groton because it allows us to grow and train our trade workforce. At the same time, it augments maintenance availabilities in the Navy Yard so that we can help keep our nation's existing submarines on mission. In addition to their work on the Graving Dock 3 pontoon, our docking operations team launched Iowa, retested the Graving Dock 1 gate following its 10-year overhaul, brought USS Oregon into Graving Dock 1 for her PSA, and certified the Holland for use at the Groton North Yard Pier. In February, we achieved pressure hull complete on Idaho SSN 799, and the team is working hard to achieve float off in the spring. This year marked the 60th anniversary of the loss of the submarine USS Thresher. On April 10th, electric boat employees took time to remember the tragedy and honor the memories of the 129 men killed that day. As shipbuilders, we can never forget that our nation's submariners and their families are counting on us to keep them safe as they serve our country. In May, we completed the PSA for USS Vermont and re-delivered her to the fleet to resume her critical missions. In June, we christened Iowa SSN 797 in Groton and following the ceremony invited employees and their families to view the boat. It was a great event with several thousand coming through Building 260 and I enjoyed having the opportunity to meet many of you. In August, we celebrated the keel lang for SSN 805, the future USS Tang. The third submarine to carry that storied name, she follows in the legacy of SS-306, the first Tang, launched 80 years ago this year. Tang was the most successful submarine of World War II. PCU Tang is one of the first Virginia-class boats to be equipped with a Virginia payload module, which extends the hull by 84 feet and increases the fixed strike capacity of a Virginia-class submarine by more than 230%. In October, we delivered the Hyman G. Rickover, SSN 795, and she was commissioned into the fleet. 795 is the second submarine named for the father of the nuclear navy. We delivered the first, SSN 709, back in 1984. This year marked the 75th anniversary of naval reactors, the organization stood up by Admiral Rickover. An electric boat has proudly partnered with NR for 73 of those 75 years. Also in October, we celebrated this year's class of distinguished shipbuilders, 119 employees who reached their 40-year service anniversary. In December, we capped the year with a long-standing EB tradition. We distributed 23,000 turkeys to our employees, and many of you generously chose to donate to food pantries and charities for local families in need. We hosted a steady stream of high-level visitors this year, including more than 130 visits to our facilities from Navy leadership, congressional members and staffers, and leaders from Washington, such as the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti, and multiple members of the Office of the Secretary of the Navy. We also hosted the Ambassador of Australia to the United States and the Australian Minister of Defense. Finally, we've set a new record for our safety performance in a year when we've hired a record number of new shipbuilders. But we know when it comes to safety, we earn those numbers every single day and our work is never done. The goal will always be zero injuries. As we continue to increase our volume and velocity to deliver one Columbia and two Virginia-class submarines a year, we will proceed only at the speed of safety and quality. Thank you for your efforts at being 200% accountable and for making EB a safer shipyard. I hope you enjoyed seeing this year's highlights. Please be proud of all you have accomplished and accept my personal thanks for your commitment to our company. From my family to yours, I wish you a peaceful and joyous holiday season.